we started looking into luxury, let's say snacks, food and beverages, when we saw that there was a gap in the market itself. We were uh, college students back in the States. And uh, while we were there, we, we realized that there was a huge variety of products that were not reached to our uh, market. And uh, that was a question that I used to question myself. Why weren't they not reached there? Uh, what's the reason behind it? Uh, was it logistical uh, issues? Uh, was it just the fact that there was no one uh, tapping into that market? Uh, why not us introducing such a thing? Especially that, that we have some knowledge coming uh, back from the States. And uh, that's where exotic snacks came into place. Uh, we started realizing there was uh, gaps of uh, uh, keto, uh, gluten-free, let's say, for example. Uh, there's a lot of people that are uh, becoming more cautious, let's say, especially when it came to social media platforms, globalizing uh, the, uh, the whole world and their thinking and all that. And uh, this is why we started differentiating ourselves between others, that uh, we carry those products. And not only that, we created categories for those products for people to uh, become uh, people to reach out to these products much easily and to become more cautious on what they're taking and what they're, they're not taking. Uh, currently, uh, a while back, you, I do believe in our uh, country here, there was a not, not a lot of people that used to test themselves uh, if they are gluten-free or not. Uh, right now, there's a lot of people that are more cautious uh, into that and they're more, they're more cautious when it comes to their kids. So we are providing uh, such a platform where it's more accessible in, to reaching those uh, products. And at the same time, uh, pretty much uh, diversifying ourselves uh, with the market itself and what it provides. It's either here you're looking for a health store uh, uh, that you can get those products or you can pretty much go to co-ops or corporations or supermarkets. And they unfortunately do not differentiate that if it's not located in the packaging itself. We stood out by uh, importing our own products. Uh, in other words, uh, this is considered as product differentiation, let's say. And uh, that helped us uh, compete with the market itself and uh, helped us grow from there. And always uh, staying up to trend. That's, uh, that's why we're considered uh, a, a youth company where pretty much uh, all of our partners are uh, considered uh, middle age, And it helps us... Uh, uh, keeping in trend, keeping in trend. And on top of that, we concentrate on social responsibility. Uh, this pretty much helped us with uh, marketing, let's say, ourselves uh, between other companies. Unfortunately, when it comes to social responsibility, there's not a lot, it's not uh, a must here uh, compared to the States, let's say, where, people, uh, where companies stand out with their social responsibility doings. Uh, this is something that helped us out. And let's say thinking out of the box. Thinking out of the box was something that uh, helped us compete with the, the sectors that are available in the market and the untraditional marketing that we are currently using. Uh, pretty much uh, whether it's through social media platforms, indirect marketing, let's say. Uh, this has helped us uh, in a very short period of time gain, let's say, track of uh, some market share into this huge market.